The story surfaced Wednesday when the Twilight Funeral Home was supposed to have received an anonymous call. The caller saying they'd better get 30 to 40 caskets ready because children were going to be killed. Officials here say they never received any such call. But the rumors persisted. Police were asked to check tips that two young girls had been found decapitated behind a Princess Anne Road supermarket. As you can see yourself, there's, there's no signs of foul play. It's a little dirty back here, but there's no signs of any foul play. Uh, certainly if two people had their heads cut off, there would at least be a lot of blood here. The rumor is, has gotten larger and larger, and uh, it's, it's progressed from here at Spartan Market to uh, Chesapeake, Suffolk, Maryland, uh, uh, and it's just blown all out of proportion. Norfolk Police Fire and Rescue, is Sarah, may I help you? At the Norfolk Police Department, calls have been pouring in since yesterday. People tying up emergency phone lines to learn that the rumors are just that. There have been no reports of any homicides of any children or any adolescents in the last several days. I would say that any of these telephone calls that are uh, coming in to different places are just malicious uh, rumors that are being started. There's no truth to any of it. Concerned listeners called radio stations like WNOR AM. That station is in the middle of a 29-hour one-man show to make people aware of the tragedy in Atlanta. But the story sweeping Tidewater hit the airwaves too. It's a serious situation and we've got also some, some uh, knuckleheads out there that have already begun doing some stupid rumors. We're here to let you know what to do so it will not come this way. That's the whole fact. Man. We don't want 29. Uh, I, I don't want one. Despite the fact that no bodies have been found and police have no evidence on which to base an investigation, fear has become a constant companion in the black community, especially for the children. I'm scared. He might come down here and get 30 kids, and I hope I don't be one of them. In Norfolk, Kathy Mitkiff, The Daily News.